David at Roland was kind enough to send over these for me to kind of have a go on and jam. So I've been playing with these on and off for about four weeks now, just to kind of get to know what the quirks are and stuff like that. So over here we've got a number of System 500 modules. We've got a 510 which is like a synth voice in one, it's got the filter with some high pass and an oscillator. 505 which is like a weird ass double filter that I've kind of used in this as a kind of crescendo kind of noise. So the noise is coming out of the 555 into here and that's been split into the two left and right filters. I think they're both on low pass, yeah. So what I'm using that for is kind of like a crescendo to get into different parts of the song or the jam that I was doing. I've got another 510 that's kind of playing a high note. So uh, the low one here is coming out of this. And then I've got a high one. So over here I've got kind of a ring modulating kind of thing going on because the ring modulator in the 555 is adding a kind of texture on top of these two. So each of these synth voices is all coming from the same melody. I find it's best to have like one melody line that's kind of sequenced and then you play like the melodies and all of the stuff over the top. <laughs> So over here we've got the 531 mixer and it's got CVable panning and I've used that to kind of tremolo uh, the high noise to buy and bounce between your ears. I've also got the delay. Which has also got the hold, I forgot to use that in this one. So that's what these synth modules are doing, just some nice warm analog tones. So this is the TR8S and I actually loaded some of my own samples into this. Which is just me singing. And um, if I turn off the actual motion because you can record the things to do different things like... Oh yeah, by the way this yellow, this sub is pretty cool. Basically you can multiply it and get more than one hit per step. You could have a quarter, a third or a half of a beat to play them. And you can get some pretty funky rhythms out of it I found. And then what you can actually do is uh, record in a motion. And then bring these in. And then bring in a... Yeah. And then O. It's pretty cool. It's pretty funky with that stuff. At the back of here, you can't see, I've actually assigned loads of different outputs for different kind of things, so I can add them to go through different effects in here, like some of them have got a distortion on. Some are also going through outboard delays and compressors which is going into the recording device, which isn't a laptop, but shh. But um, yeah, so that means that uh, I can affect them differently. And the other thing is, like just to get a bit more frump because I've actually got the master effects onto the kick and the snare and the crash, so it kind of all saturates at some points. To keep the kick going, I've got this actually triggering out to a kick and a snare, an extra kick and a snare. The rest of these sounds are actually just 808s. My favorite thing on the 808 is always the crash. Oh yeah. I love that snare going crazy. In the, on the fly, like.
motion record, you can actually kind of like get a bass line out of the kick drum as well, which uh, you know, I think is pretty funky. Pretty good. the samples at the minute. So what can I say? They're pretty funky. So yeah, all of the stems from this whole video, including the composition at the start and this whole kind of random jam out stuff, is available on my Patreon. So you can have either the kicks or the outputs of the synth and stuff. You could go through them and see what's actually going on in there. And yeah, Roland were also kind enough to let me give this away on my Patreon, which is a 510 Eurorack synth voice. So yeah, if you want this System 500 Roland 510 synth voice, then go and check it out on the Patreon. There'll be information on there on how to get it. I've been Little Mum No Computer. Don't be scared to try it.